let's taste it. And today we're gonna do spaghetti from Dollar Tree, guys. All the items that I'm gonna make for this spaghetti is from Dollar Tree. <laughs> Okay guys, so I got like about four beef patties. Uh, the packages, they're like $1.25 a piece and they come with two in the package. Now it all depends on how many people you are feeding, what's your serving size, all that to know how much you should get. I also got one pack of sausage and you could choose whatever flavor you would like for your sausage. I only got one pack guys. I also had uh, bought some Hunt's pasta sauce, the garlic and herb um, flavor. I got three cans of that tomato paste and also two boxes of spaghetti noodles. Now, like I said, all depends on your serving size, on how much you should get. That depends on you guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to first start off by breaking up our meat. And this is the patty, the beef patties. We're going to break that meat up into the pot, just a little piece by piece. I'm holding my camera, guys. I got to invest into a tripod. But um, you just break it up into pieces. Each packet came with two pieces, guys. And this was like, I believe, four packets that I had got. Packs, four packs that I got. It's going to get a bit messy once it... Okay, guys, I put all of the um, patties, the beef patties in here, and I broke them up. And we're going to let that cook down. Of course, we want to get all that grease from out of there before we put it in with the sauce and everything. But in the meantime, while this is cooking now, we are going to um, kind of fry the, the sausages a little bit. I like my sausages like, you know, brown. Brown them a little bit, guys. All right, so guys, I cut up the sausages and I'm going to let them brown just a little bit. I don't want them burnt. But um, we're going to brown that before we put it in the sauce. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys we are done with our sausages yes they are a little tad bit over brown but i like it like this too it's okay i was trying out for them not to get overly brown but they ended up getting that way anyway but it's still okay guys still gonna have uh, the flavor that i'm looking for so we're gonna save this off aside and wait until the sauce is ready for us to throw that in there all right guys this is ground meat and I didn't season it yet guys because all that seasoning it doesn't really set in until after you know you add the sauce and all that so that's when I'm gonna add my seasoning I'm gonna add my garlic and everything now I noticed something about you know 
I might start using this for grounding, y'all. I just know. Like, I mean, I knew that I could use, you know, hamburger patties for, um, you know, ground meat. But, man, it has less grease less grease than the regular ground beef guys and i think i like this better i might start using this way less grease you see how it's sticking to the pot that's how i like it guys and sometimes with that the the ground beef um i have to drain the grease whereas this one right here doesn't look like i have to do that and i'm glad like, I might start using this. And it's much cheaper, too. This is way cheaper, guys. We're going to let that cook down some more. And then we're going to add our sauce and seasonings and everything. And I'll come back, guys. Okay, right here, we're going to go ahead and add our garlic and herb pasta sauce. We're going to go ahead and add that in there. I'm going to finish adding the rest of the cans and we'll be back, guys. So, I don't really have to put any more garlic in it, but I still will put some more garlic because I like my spaghetti garlic, you guys. Okay, guys, I added my paste, my tomato paste. And in case you don't know what that is for, it's to thicken the sauce up. So, um, and to also add a little bit more darker color to the, uh, to the to well to the spaghetti sauce and it's gonna cook down guys i would have had onions and bell peppers but my dollar tree didn't have the onion and bell pepper so we're just gonna do it without it because this is a dollar tree meal so we're gonna do without it this time so we're gonna let that cook down guys and just Come back and stir it and many of you may know that I cook I cook a good bit on this channel um I haven't been cooking in a minute so I just wanted to give y'all a couple of recipes here um I don't usually give measurements guys so if I give measurements that is on a good day not to say this is a bad day, but I really, it must be, I, I really have time to give measurements. If I really give y'all measurements, in other words. So today, I won't be giving any measurements today, guys. Okay, we're gonna let that cook down for about an hour and we'll be back okay so guys we're gonna season it and put the um it hasn't been an hour yet just in case y'all wondering no not, not yet but i wanted to add the sausage and the seasoning in we're gonna go ahead and season that because we're gonna season it again close to the end but we're going to go ahead and season that pretty well. And add our seasoning to that. Go ahead and stir that up. Now, guys, the garlic that I had added was not from Dollar Tree, but I just added that in there. You don't have to add that in there. You could just use your seasoning because um, you got onion, chopped onion here, and you know you got all these seasonings here, so you don't have to. You don't have to do it. I just chose to do it. But we mainly using Dollar Tree. Dollar 
Dollar Tree item. Sorry, guys. But we just went ahead and stirred it in there. So the only thing that is not from Dollar Tree, guys, remember that, is the garlic that I added. And that was it. You don't have to. That was optional. You don't have to add that. Okay. I wanted to get some garlic bread, guys, from there. But they didn't even have none. That particular Dollar Tree did not have a lot of stuff. I had to look for some stuff. So, so we won't have garlic bread with this. It'll just be the spaghetti, guys. Okay, we're putting our pot on for our noodles, guys. Gotta let that heat up for a little bit. And okay, guys, I put the spaghetti on. And we're gonna let that cook. I cut them in half because I don't like long spaghetti, guys. I don't like long noodles. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook down, guys. We're going to stir it, guys, until it's cooked. Well, not stir it until it's cooked, but, you know, keep coming back to stir it to make sure it doesn't stick together. But once it's cooked, we're going to take it out of the pot and strain it, guys. Let me know if y'all know a great way to... Um, Get the, to cook the noodles without them sticking together, guys. And also, once once they are being strained, how do how can we get them to not stick together once they are strained? If that makes sense, I, I know some of y'all that know how to cook, y'all know what I'm talking about. There's a trick. I heard some people put oil in the um the water. Uh, is there another trick, guys? Or is that the only trick y'all know? Or I haven't tried it. I just was wondering if anyone else has tried it. Okay, I'm going to let that cook, guys. Okay, so the pasta sauce is cooking with the ground meat and everything. It's cooking very good, guys. I mean, very, very good. Gotta get the size of the pot. Okay. All right, I'm gonna let that cook. Okay, I just rinsed off my noodles and um, I didn't put nothing in it. Hopefully it does not stick to each other guys and that's the part i'm talking about like is there a way to make them not stick together but these are ready to go so we're just waiting on the sauce guys all right y'all the sauce is done so we're about to put it on a plate so stay tuned guys stay tuned i can't talk right okay guys it is done and the reason why you see a little bit of parmesan i mean grated uh Parmesan cheese right here, guys, is because I just wanted to taste that little bit right there with the Parmesan cheese on it that I got from Dollar Tree. I got the Parmesan cheese as well, which is right here. I got that. It's a grated topping with Parmesan. Of course, it's going to be named different. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and taste this. My first time tasting this. Dollar Tree. Hold on, guys. Let me turn the camera around for you. Okay, guys. Let's taste it. Mm -mm -mm. I put too much in my mouth, guys. It's really good. Really good. Excuse my mouth, guys. <laughs> okay. I honestly can say I would make spaghetti from Dollar Tree again. This was delicious, guys. You need to try it. 
if you are on a budget perfect meal for you feeds a lot of people guys so thank you for watching don't forget to like 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 this video if you enjoy watching guys and if you decide you want to make this spaghetti please be my guest guys and make this recipe add your own ingredients to it and also comment down below if you have tried this already if you haven't and you plan to try it let me know in the comments guys talk to me in the comments and let me know what y'all think of this recipe and also share for the world to see subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you guys are notified each time i post a new video bye bye my minkies oh,